Hey, I'm Maylene. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about movement, power, and social justice through the lens of visual art. And in today's video, I want to share with you a little bit about my art story, how I got started, and how I ended up doing the things I do today. So surprise, surprise, I was always a weird kid. I always loved working on like arts and crafts. I would make clothes for my Barbies. I would cut their hair. I would always be painting. My mom would buy me like acrylic paints. When I was little, I don't remember how I ended up with them, but I did like to paint when I was young. But the very first art that I actually dedicated some time and discipline was dance. I don't know if you guys remember back in the late 90s, all the like pop videos like Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, they all had like a lot of backup dancers. For some reason when I was little, I started learning all of their dances. Like it became my hobby to watch like the music channel. I was in Costa Rica, so it wasn't MTV. It was like a normal channel that had like a music hour. And I remember like that became my thing every day, watch the music videos and learn the dance routine. Eventually, when my mom and I moved to Nicaragua, she had a little bit more money and she was able to put me in jazz classes for a little bit. And then we finally moved to the US. I like remember begging my mom to put me in ballet classes because there was a little studio right by our high school. And at first she said no until I somehow convinced her to let me take a class and they let me know that there was like a scholarship. And I remember these classes were ten dollars an hour and that was like really difficult for my mom to pay and looking back i can't even believe that like i annoyed her so much that she finally put me in those classes eventually i did win that scholarship and i went i think for free for a few months so that's pretty cool then what happens i started taking dance classes in school because i was lucky enough that they had a dance studio and you could take dances at PE, so of course I did that. Eventually started taking classes at a better ballet studio. It was like a more serious school and that's when I became extremely obsessed with ballet and dance in general. And I danced all the way through high school and for most of my college. Towards the end of high school, I did start realizing that I was like a good writer, especially in my Spanish classes. Because it were in LA, like we had like a Spanish or native speakers type of class that you could take for your language requirement, which is more advanced. So in those classes, I realized like I'm actually pretty good at communicating through language. And eventually in college, I started getting better at writing in English. And by the end of college, I was writing like poetry here and there. I really liked the papers I would write for my literature classes, for my history classes that were studying like issues of identity and like independence in Latin America. And that's why I'm so fascinated by issues of identity, class struggle, and self-empowerment because those are big themes in Latin American history and I feel like those are big themes in my own life as well. Hi guys, it's the 29th of April. One more day left to Vina, so today I'm gonna be unboxing my childhood memory. Vlog really frequently in April 2013. So I actually started painting during my last quarter before graduating college and that's when I actually remembered like oh I used to paint when I was little and I think I already told you guys the story how I stopped myself from painting one day that I realized I couldn't do something really complex I wanted to paint a still life and I couldn't figure out why my still life didn't look good it didn't look hyper realistic but back then I didn't have the words to say that I just knew it looked flat and the paint was like chalky and I was like, you know what, this is not for me. And which is so dumb because how can I be perfect at something I try for the first time? But that's what inspired me to continue painting now. Since the day that I had that realization, it's now been six years that I've been painting. And I actually love what I'm making now, finally. But can you imagine if I just continued to paint since I was little? I would have 21 years of experience by now or so and that's kind of crazy that i don't instead i only have seven years of experience and that's why moving forward i just want to see how good i can get at painting and because i missed so much of that opportunity that i want to make sure i give myself the opportunity of seeing what my art would look like moving forward now during those six or seven years after college i've had continued to paint and i've also discovered that i love martial arts <laughs> 
The main reason why I love doing martial arts, especially kickboxing, is because it feels a lot like dance. And not a lot of people understand what I mean by that, but it just for some reason, the area of my brain that controls my body during ballet is the same area of the brain that controls my body doing kickboxing. And I've already, in my previous video, talked a little bit about how as a female, I've always been described as aggressive, which is really just another word for powerful. But for some reason, we give aggressive, aggression, like really negative meanings, because there's this difference between aggression and violence, and one doesn't necessarily go with the other. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that kickboxing allows me to explore areas of life that as a female, I'm not really encouraged to explore, even though they exist within me. So that's why I really love kickboxing and I really feel like it helps me understand how to fight. And I do share a little bit about my journey and the little lessons that I learned along the way here and there throughout my channel. And what I want to share with you guys through my channel is feelings and ways to empower yourself because it's only when we feel powerful that we can take action and do things that are going to change the world. And you can expect to see more of that in the future. So if you like these videos and you want to continue talking about world animation, subscribe and make sure you watch my latest videos. If you're not caught up, I finally told my story of my first fight. So go watch that video. It's actually two videos. I have to split it into part one and part two. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you the next time.